So I want to show you how to make like a super quick pasta and meatballs recipe, but I think I'm just gonna do it like this and have it be like a really informal, probably like shaky, bad quality way of showing you, but I just kind of want to show you now since I'm making it again. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna like kind of show you what I'm doing. Hopefully it will work out. I think that's uh, good for an intro. Let's get into the pasta. Okay, so this is the pasta that I'm using. Just this um, linguine. It's just like high fiber white pasta. It's just what I had in my cupboard. So I'm going to boil that. And then I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. Also, These are the like meatballs that I'm using. Um, I just put them in here because I don't have the package anymore, but I'll put a picture of the package maybe right here. Um, so they're not actually like soy or like fake meat or anything. They're actually made of quinoa and kale and they're so much better than I expected and I love them. So what I'm gonna do now is just chop up some vegetables, Saute them in a pan, add some tomato sauce and some spices. So here I just have the kale and quinoa bites cooking, just getting them warmed up and a little bit crispy. Um, I just have the pan on like a medium heat. Probably gonna burn myself trying to do this. And here I just have some red peppers or red capsicum as some people call it, cooking. Here I'm just boiling some water for the pasta. Okay, I just poured in the sauce and some basil, quite a bit, parsley, again quite a bit, I love parsley too, and then I'm just mixing it around, then I'm going to do some pepper, some Himalayan pink salt, Just sprinkle of cane sugar, push it all in there. Almond milk, make it a little bit creamy, so. I don't know, a good splash, maybe like half cup, quarter cup. So I'm just gonna let this cook for a bit. And what I'm gonna do is just, at the very last minute, add some spinach for like 30 seconds so that it gets a little bit wilted. And then I'm going to put it all into a bowl, put the meatballs on top, gonna be al dente it's gonna be awesome this is pretty much the exact recipe that I used to make the like spicy penne arbiata with like meatballs that I posted on Instagram a few days ago except I'm using spaghetti instead of penne and with that one I added some like cayenne and like red chili flakes but I'm not really feeling that with this one but to make it spicy add some red chili flakes some cayenne you will be golden and if you're wondering what is making noise is the air fryer because someone is making fries. video I hope it wasn't too hard to follow along the recipe and all the directions will be in the description box so you can go check that out and I hope you make it and I hope you like it and I'll see you next time bye